My first reaction to the episode was surprise. It was this unexpected, beautiful love story in this bleak world. My philosophy on this show has always been, when should we deviate and when should we come back? If it's kind of the same or worse, we stay where the game is. If it's better, we deviate. We talked about using Bill, because he's on his own, as a way to follow through time and see how things changed within the context of a man. One of the first conversations Craig and I had about this episode was like seeing Frank. But this is probably the biggest departure between the game and the show. We knew from the game that Bill had a partner, his partner was Frank. In the game, Frank is already dead. And I thought that there was an opportunity to go a different way. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. Doesn't sound very long out loud, does it? Bill and Frank are kind of opposites, really, in terms of the way that they kind of operate in the world. You know, Bill's super practical and not emotional, and Frank is the opposite of that. We're going to make friends. We don't have friends, Frank. Bill is a sad character to me when I, when I just envision him in the world before Frank shows up. Frank's nature is he's a people person. He's been able to persuade people of his value, whereas Bill has used the other approach, which is I have a gun and I'm pointing it at you. Unless you run away, I will kill you. It's amazing because we get to do such contrasting scenes, sort of action kind of scenes, and then really like intimate, vulnerable scenes. With each episode, there's a sort of reflection of where love can take you. And this was the pure, innocent version. This is the beauty that love can bring us. <laughs> the last scene is emotionally charged, but strangely enough, it's also quite perfunctory. What really is important is the not being too emotional, because I think it's better to let us be emotional. We've lived the life with them, and the point that Frank says is, today is my last day, that's really about, OK, let's just go through all the things. Just give me one more good day. I've seen this thing 200 times, and I still cry. That's those two guys doing it to me, no question. It's remarkable. That's the dream. When Ellie reads Joel that suicide note, Bill kind of spells out, look out for the people that you love. And he specifically mentions Tess. It's a reminder of Joel's failure. Joel has already failed to save his daughter, and now he's failed to save his romantic partner. What's next? Mm -hmm.